All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the Dave Schultz Memorial International where we have in the blue singlet, Johan Jurn from Sweden, and in the red, Nermakin Tenaleev from Kazakhstan. Yep, Tenaleev is a two-time bronze medalist, and Jurn is the Olympic, current Olympic bronze medalist, one of the bronze medalists. Both these guys are big. I mean, I'd, I'd be dwarfed by either guy if I was next to him. I'd say Tenaliev has got to be about 6'2", 6'3". You're in about 6'5". Both guys looked really solid so far the, today. Tenaliev looks like he's just trying to wear out Yuren with that front headlock. Be interesting if Yuren could get some uh, Good body lock here at over under, and maybe attempt one of those throw attempts he's been so successful in the past two weekends. Launched a few guys at the Jack Pinto Cup. Done it quite often here today. Tonale of really working on that head seems to be his strategy coming into this match. Yeah, Euron's going to have a sore neck on the flight back home to Sweden tomorrow. It's a lot of weight hanging on your neck. <laughs> 45 seconds remaining in the period. That means we've got 15 before we hit the 30 second mark. Here it looks like he's trying to set some type of slide by, but he cannot get the correct position here. I mean, he's got this um, inside leg on the opposite side from where he wants to hit that. And he will go down to start this parterre position, 30 seconds left in the first period. Let's see what Tinalayev has on top. Let's see if he can turn the Olympic bronze medalist from 2012. Aaron's going to be warned for not opening here in a second. Close. Well, that is a gut wrench. Tinalayev will get the two, and he will take the first period should the score hold up. Seven seconds remain, no action, nobody's improved. Tinelave's not improving, but since he's got a lead, he'll be cut off, called, called up to their feet. Tinelave looking a bit stronger there in this first period. Aaron's gonna have to go back to his coach, try to regroup, try to come up with a better strategy. He's got a big horse that he's wrestling here. This guy is not easy to push around. Tenaliyev actually had a close semifinal match there with uh, Robbie Smith. Very close. See if that helps Robbie Smith perform himself better in the United States standing as he's moved from 96 kilos to 120. Tenaliyev has beaten our best heavyweight, Jermel Byers, in the 2011 World Championships. I believe that was the round of 32, maybe the round of 16. It was early on in the tournament. I believe it was a round of 32 that he had beat Jermil Byers. Well, Back in the front headlock, just hanging on that head. It's got to wear on him a little bit. It's hard to score from that position as well, so if he can shut down Urin's offense and head back to that parterre, it's probably yeah, his it's strategy. Kind of strategic hold for a head weight because you're just going to hang on the head. You're going to wear your opponent down. I mean, you can see Urin wants to get something going. Yeah, he wants an over-under here. Well, he has a hook now. Hook. Let's see if he can try to work something off of this. He does have hand control on the far side. To leave is a bit blocking, but they don't call you for a passivity anymore. This is not part of the rules, as it hasn't been since 2004. More of a test of strength here between the two big guys. And neither one of them's given. Well, you see, Ten Alive has that strong wrist control with the right wrist. Yeah, he's just pushing away. He's he's looking for another clinch position here. Is 
Aaron's going to have to come strong in this clinch that he's got here in about two seconds. Otherwise, he's flying home with a silver medal. I'm sure he would not be happy with that one. He's got all gold. That's what he's looking for right here. He's got 30 seconds left to make that come to fruition. He's got his gut locked up already. He's got heavy hips, but he's got to try to move more. Aaron looking for a lift. Oh, we might get some plates in here. That leg is blocking. He's got to be able to step off him. that leg there. That's a challenge. I believe we're going to have a challenge from Sweden here. And there it is. And we'll be right back, folks. <laughs> 